Right, right. Boy, where do I start in this video? All right, this video is for one Robert Henry. Robert, I felt your frustration yesterday. I felt it. And I know before y'all start thinking, why does Coach have this goofy-looking dude on the screen? Okay, I'm, I'm explaining that to you in a minute. But I felt the frustration, you know? Like, here you are, Robert. You're trying to grow your channel. You're trying to, you know, do some stuff. And you just want to come in and get your view out there. You want to talk about your view. And then you got these idiots, you got these morons that's coming to your channel, and they suck the life out of it. You know, it's frustrating. It really is. I'm going to tell you, man, I know all too well about this. That's kind of why sometimes, you know, you may, you, you may have even heard people, they'll say something about, but I don't even make a response video. I mean, I've learned. I've learned, okay? Every now and then, I might, but it's rare. It's very rare. You can ask people like Stam and MC. You can ask him, like, how I used to be, like, years ago. And I think Stamina been rolling around here for damn near four years, okay? And I can tell you now, you can ask him probably how I used to be versus what I do now. And I tell you, man, it's night and day. Here go the thing, Robert. The LDBC, the Lions Den Boxing Community, okay? It was a vision. It was a vision in, in, incepted by uh, 78 Sports TV. And pretty much, man... He had a vision. He said, Coach, I want you to rock with me. He said, Black Fight Fan, I want you to rock with me. He said, Santee Wooden, I want you to rock with me. He said, VZ, I want you to rock with me. Reef the Watcher, I need you to rock with me. Fanon, rock with me. Black Fight Fan, rock with me. Fight Critic, rock with me. Jeff from Dream Chasing Boxing back then, but now it's called He Say Less, I want you to rock with me. Mex Rider, I want you to rock with me. See, all oh, these people, and I'm, we're talking about the original, the core. Okay, we're talking about the core, the core LDBC members. Black Fight Fan and Fanon, they came around a couple of months or about a year afterwards, but still there in the core. Let me tell you something, man. And here I thought that I had everything together. I thought I had my whole life together. Boy, was I wrong. You know, not only five years later, okay, financially, especially financially, okay, Financially and socially, <laughs> I'm in a much better place. And when I say socially, because now when I do my bookings, you know, when I when I do my coaching bookings, when I do my 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 actually my lectures, when I do my training sessions, you know, what I was doing as a hobby <laughs> five years ago has become a lucrative business for me. Coaching. Y'all be wondering, coach, why you work so much? Man, look. I work with kids everywhere. I work with kids in Russia. I work with kids in the Philippines. I'm talking about, you know, now internet and marketing. and Coach, I do a lot of work. <laughs> but I get paid well for it. Five years ago, I was never in this mental space. Robert, you want to know why? I wasn't in this kind of financial space back then. It was nowhere near it. Because nobody gave me the right information. People like 78 Sports TV gave me the right information. And even my buddies, you know, even even people like uh, Tim Players News, they don't make videos anymore like that. But a couple of early videos that they had when they used to give people information, what 78 did and those guys changed the whole scape of, escape of my life financially. The whole escape, the whole landscape of my life financially changed in five years. Robert here. What we embarking on, asking you the same thing. The Lions Den Women's Mixed Martial Art Community. Rock with me. Rock with me. My plans, Robert, <laughs> they're going to far exceed what we're doing. You see, Robert, let me tell you something, man. Here's the thing. You got to understand who you're dealing with. And one thing that I know about people if people talk to you long enough, they'll reveal who they really are. If people talk to you, if people talk to you long enough, they'll reveal who you are. Like, for example, if somebody come on to a video or that somebody like just call you gay out the blue, chances are they're calling you what they really are. Or if they start cussing you out or doing all kind of stuff, that stuff right there, that's telling me that there's a deeper rooted issue. Things that I can go into in a whole nother video, but you can't hide who you are. You can't hide who you really are. You can't hide it. And Robert, here's what I challenge you to do, okay? 
I'm not saying that I won't ever go back at some of these dudes because, Robert, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> some of these dudes, they're lucky I'm not an asshole. They're lucky I'm not an asshole because I tell you, boy, uh, me and General Africa, we got so much stuff on some of these people. Like, when I say really legit, some of the same people, Robert, that troll you, we got so much stuff on these people, man. Like, you, look, that, that, this is not their first rodeo, okay? This, this ain't their first rodeo. This not. We got so much information on this stuff, man. Honestly, if we reveal everything that we had on these people, some of these people might want to take themselves out of here. Like, seriously. Okay? We got so much stuff on these people. It's not even funny. You know what? And to me, it's not even worth somebody, you know, trying to destroy themselves. But I think a lot of these dudes, they better be careful, man. They better be careful, and they better be careful of the videos that they, tend, that they try to make. They better be real careful. Because me and General Africa... We have a lot of resources when it comes to figuring out these people and why they do what they do. And some of them, if they get too reckless, me and General Africa, we put the dossier on them. We're talking behind the scenes. I can give you all the intel on the people that you want to know about that's trolling you. It's not that hard to figure out because these people, they're all the same, Robert. When you see one, you see them all. They're just a reincarnation and a dumber version of the rest of them. And when you see them in your comment section, they dumb. And when you see them making videos, that's just somebody stupid just making a video. So you ask the question, why do these guys go to Combo Breaker 99's comment thread? Why do they come always in his live streams? I'm going to tell you why. Because in their mind, they believe that Combo Breaker 99 is very soft. But <laughs> let me tell you something. Combo Breaker 99 is far from that, okay? Combo Breaker 99 just don't, he don't, he don't delve into his emotions, he don't delve into his emotions. Combo Breaker 99 don't do that, okay? Combo Breaker 99 is as alpha as they come. I'm trying to tell you, I've talked to this guy, and I promise you, I don't know his, I don't know his personal business or his finances, but I'd be willing to bet anybody $1,000 that Combo Breaker 99, I, I, I promise you, that guy is very successful financially, mentally, physically, socially. I guarantee he is. Just because you can't hide who you really are. You can't hide it. You cannot hide it. Me and Combo Breaker 99 have some serious talks behind the scenes. Very serious. You can't hide who you are. Okay? There's no way he could hide it. And I'm going to tell you why I know he alpha. Because the man got a vision, man. He got his vision. He got his vision, man. And that's something that, you know what? <laughs> you can't beat that. You can't beat a vision. You can't beat He's got a vision. This guy, this guy always got his eyes on a vision. Combo Breaker 99 knows exactly what he want to do. And see, Robert, the reason why they're in this comment section, they really want to do what he want to do. Robert, the reason why they're in your comment section is that they want to articulate like you do. They want to. They can't, Robert. They don't know how. They wonder how you can just sit and just talk whatever you talk. See, they want to know how you can sit there and do that, Robert, and then do it and then keep an audience. And I'm going to tell you, Robert, if you don't believe what I'm saying, that when you make a video, when somebody watch it, they watch most of your video, the whole thing, through the whole, from, from start to finish. Go look at your analytics. Look at how long people are average watching your videos. The YouTube average is three minutes, okay? I know on average my videos, people are watching my videos average of seven minutes, you know? And that's because I do, I do a whole lot of little breakdown videos, but that's above the YouTube average. It's above it. Okay, Robert, I'm pretty sure you're probably at eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 minutes, okay? Because you're articulate. Remember, the YouTube average is only about three minutes. That's the average that people are watching videos. <laughs> All videos across the board. Okay? Um, I'm going to tell you this, man. You're probably wondering why, why you got this guy on the screen. Robert, I swear, this is how some of these dudes look. I, I swear, some of these dudes look just like this. They, they look the same. And when you look at them, Robert, when you look at these people that come to you and criticize, see... I stop, I stop giving them a voice. They don't get no voice. They don't get nothing, man. They, they, the only thing they get to do, they get to watch and hate from a distance. They get nothing. When you look at these people, man, do you think that these are highly successful people? Do, do you really think that these people have life going on with them? Do you think they, they're successful? Do these people look happy to you? R do really look in the video. The same reason why, you know, some of them, they go out the WMMA attic. The same reason. Because they hate the fact that you're happy, Combo's happy, I'm happy, WMMA Attic is happy. See, we're happy with who we are. And, and the Attic don't even mess with us like that, okay? 
he don't mess with us like that. But I do know that he's happy in who he is. And these people, they wish that they can get on there and, and speak the way that you do, the way that he does, the way that General Africa do, the way that Combo do. The way, you know, sometimes they wish they can do it. They wish that they can do it. And I'm not saying, hey, I got the, the best channel out here. Nah. I mean, if I ever took it serious, if I really, truly took it serious, yeah, probably. But I can come on here and do what I want to do, say what I want to say. I've always said, man, I want to have 20,000 real ones, man, that like the realness. I want 20,000 of those versus having, you know, like 100,000 people that just want to hear you, you know, sing and dance. And, nah, you know, coach ain't finna do it. I ain't finna do all that. that that's not going to happen. Okay? I'm going to beat to my own tune. And if they rock with me, they rock with me. But see, that's how we're going to build the LDWMAC. That's how we're going to build it. That, that's how we're going to build the foundation of this. You see, Robert, there's something in you. You got it in you. These guys, man, they're not even on your level. Yeah, some of them may have more viewers than you. They might have more subscribers, Robert. Right now they do. But guess what, man? They can't articulate like you do. They can't. Dude, you, Jason Rhodes got us started. Robert, you done took the Lions Den Women's Mixed Martial, uh, martial Arts Community fan, uh, Facebook page. Dude, you've taken that by the horns, man. You've taken it by the horns, and guess what you've done? Guess what you've done, man? You've turned that into a whole other platform, bro. You're adding your own little twist on it. You're talking about, hey, man, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get the artwork. I'm going to do this. Dude, you got a vision. May not even be the biggest vision that you think that you're supposed to have right now, but Robert, you got a vision. These guys, they ain't got no vision, man. You know, when they make videos about us and they talk about us, bro, look, <laughs> the only reason why they're doing that because they ain't got nothing going on. They got nothing going on. Look what happened during the pandemic, man. These dudes, you see what happened during the pandemic? How many of these channels, how many of these channels could actually, you know, survive and function? Did you see a lot of those, Robert? But what were we doing over here in the LDW MMAC? What were we doing? We were still shaking. We were still moving. See, that tells us, Robert, we got talents. We got talents and ability above what a lot of other people got. We have those. Okay, we can still function in a pandemic. Okay, we can still function within a pandemic all the time. No matter what happened, we'll still be able to function because we have different skill sets. We can speak on, you know, a multitude of different topics. These people, they can't do it. These people can't do it. Heck, man, I even had one of these dudes complaining to my man. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't be uh, talking about the women sometimes like that. And, you know, see, these are lames. These are lames. All the women that come to my channel, they're comfortable. All of them. Every last one of them. Because it's a community. They understand. See, Robert, not everybody can come in here and say, hey, you know, Genesis Green, you fine. Or Evelyn Barrios, what's up, baby? How you doing? What they going to do? If them dudes do that. They ain't going to come back to their channel. <laughs> they don't come back to their channel. Robert, I've been through it all, bro. I've been through it all, okay? I mean, I've had people try to locate me. And low-key, I've, I've had to beat the hell out of one of you guys. And I'm just being real. And I, I tell you about it behind the scenes. I've had to do that. I've had a lot of things try to I've had guys try to, you know, assassinate my character. I've had guys come on here, man. Some of the females you interview, they're so uncomfortable. But yet, you know, I got these people phone number. <laughs> I got these people phone number. Isn't there something, man? Valentina was uncomfortable. But, uh, you know, I can reach I can reach her. I can reach her team, you know, whatever I want to. But, uh, okay, she's uncomfortable. <laughs> it's, it's, see, they always try to discredit us, Robert. Oh, Chris Cyborg will never come on your channel. She come on my channel <laughs> laughing. Yeah, Chris Cyborg, a moderator on my damn channel. <laughs> Tay Tay Brown, don't ever feel like I got Tay Tay Brown number. I got Sports Prince's number. I got Genesis Green. I got all these numbers. You, you think they give me their phone number? They felt uncomfortable. <laughs> no. Want to know why? Want to know why? Because Robert, these guys, they can't do that. They can't move. They can't operate like that. They can't do it. They can't move that way. Because they don't have no personality and they don't have no originality, Robert. Is. They ain't got a personality. They ain't got an originality. They sort of like this dude right here. Chopping at the bit. You know, trying to be something that they not. <laughs> and, you know, they try to call us simps. But look, I tell you what, Robert, if we Valentina simps, 
is something because Valentina know who we are. She might not know you yet, but I, I, I know Valentina know me. And these guys that be simping after these fighters, these fighters don't even know they exist. Uh, Valentina know me. <laughs> Cyborg know me. Dan Dwyer know me, okay? We're known. The LDW MMAC, we're growing, man. We're growing and we're growing and we're growing. And Robert, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep Hey, look, we're going to keep We're going to keep the eyes on the prize, bro. We're going to keep it going. Because what we're going to have, man, I'm telling you, bro, we keep this thing rolling. These guys, man, they got no power. See, the thing of it is, man, they think that black men, they think we do the same thing. See, they know, they understand that if you get the one, you can divide and conquer. That's what they think. They tried to, they tried to get me a full-time MMA to go at each other. They tried to do it. Stamina MC, the brother, he shut that down quick. Stamina MC shut it down so fast, it, did, it never got started. He shut it down quickly because Stamina MC know how these people try to do black guys. They try to do black men. They try to get us going at each other's throat. And shout out to the homie Stamina MC. Shout out to him. Hey, what's up now? Hey, I'm making the do what it do. <laughs> shout out to the homie Stamina MC for that. Shout out. You know? Well, you know, they try to get, you know, they even, like years ago, man, it was another channel, man. They tried to get me and this other black dude, no, this other girl named uh, Esma MMA that used to make videos, tried to get me and her to go at each other. She shut it down. You know, Esma, she shut her MMA channel down, but, you know, they tried to get us to go at each other. <laughs> For real, man, crazy, crazy. But they try to do that to us, man. They want us to divide and conquer, man, but see, they can't divide and conquer the LDW MMAC. They can't do it. They want to know, well, what is it? What, what are you guys talking about? What's the WMMA, what's the WMMA universe? What's that? What, what's all that? See, Robert, they don't have the swag to pull it off. I mean, they'll duplicate. They'll try to imitate. They can steal our talking phrases. But, Robert, they not us, man. You ain't got to worry about these damn dudes. You ain't got to worry about these damn dudes. You know, you want to set them on fire a couple of times? Hey, man, look, I've always learned you sit back and you relax, and you just wait. You sit back, you relax, and you wait. Because, see, things always come out. And, Robert, these guys lucky I'm not an asshole. They lucky, man. They lucky. They're lucky for their life I'm not an asshole. Because if I was, boy, I let all this information out. I put a video up, and, I, man, look, I will expose every, almost every last one of them, especially some of the ones that you name. Believe me. They think they're so perfect, Robert. But they don't. They don't have these, these, these beautiful paths. They don't have those. Matter of fact, they got a lot of things in their past that you never believe. <laughs> oh, man. But look around the community, Robert. Just look. These are some of the dudes right here. This is how they look. This is how they look. 